Hello, good evening class, welcome. Hello, Jer. Hello, hello, good evening. Sorry for the delay. Hay un poquito de problema ahí con el arranque del Zoom. Over here. Thank you, guys. So let's start with our session. Welcome, Marvin. Welcome, Cindy. Hi, Elsie. And who else Hi. is here? Let's see. Vamos a quién más está por acá. Let me check. Okay. 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 Nikki, welcome, Nikki. Good evening, guys. Hello. Good evening. Hello, Carlos. How are you? How was your weekend? Hey, great. Great. Okay. Well done. Excellent. Uh, Sara, hello, Sara. Where are you? <coughs> Yolanda, welcome. Nikki, I cannot see you, Nikki. Oscar, hello, Oscar. Fatima, hello, Fatima, welcome. Hello, hello. Hola, hola, hello. Hello, good evening. Okay, so look at this. We're going to start with our session number 16. Okay, antes de comenzar, chicos, nada más. Hacerles mención ahí de, de que esta es nuestra última semana de módulo. Después tenemos una pausa y pues después se continúa, ¿verdad? Espero que ya todos hayan enviado la documentación o, o, o recursos humanos ya hayan enviado la documentación correspondiente. Pero que también deben de estar pendientes de eso, ¿verdad? Para que se puedan inscribir en el próximo módulo. Y aparte de eso, eh, nada más... Eh, pedirles y solicitarles que, que no falten hasta última semana porque necesitamos llegar a ese 80% de asistencia y pues por ahí teníamos algunas dificultades pero espero que pues todos puedan, puedan lograrlo ok y también con las actividades de la plataforma bueno vamos a, a tomar cierto espacio hoy para checarlas nuevamente ok porque tenemos algunas eh, parece que una o dos que necesitábamos checar Entonces, si, si alguien tiene una pregunta, chicos. Questions? No questions. Okay, so let's start. Uh, in this class, we're going to continue with a new topic, and we're going to describe the location of our workplace by using prepositions of place. So in the previous classes, we were talking about prepositions of time, right? In, on, and at. And today, we're going to discuss that, but as prepositions of place. Entonces, en la clase anterior veíamos las preposiciones de tiempo, ¿verdad? Ahora las vamos a ver como preposiciones de lugar. Yeah, the same three prepositions. Look at this. We have some vocabulary. Um, look at this. Vocabulary. Corner. Neighborhood, neighborhood, avenue, avenue, street, city hall, city hall, and restaurant. What's a corner? What's a corner? Corner ideas. What's that? A corner. En la esquina. La esquina. Okay. Neighborhood. Neighborhood. What's that? Neighborhood. Ideas. I live in a neighborhood called, uh, you mentioned a place, right? For example, I live in a neighborhood called, um, so for example, Colonia Escalón, or you can mention uh, any other neighborhood. So, podría ser, es una colonia, so that's a neighborhood. Colonia, vecindario, so that's neighborhood. Este, esta es la forma como vamos a, a referirnos a vecindario, colonia en inglés. Okay, neighborhood, avenue, avenue, and street, street. And this is really clear, right? Las avenidas, las calles. We have city hall. A city hall, it's um, it's a, a place where the, a lot of people works, like uh, the major of that place. City hall is, do you remember city hall? ¿Alguien recuerda ahí que era City Hall? City Hall. 
ideas? No? That's a uh, alcaldía, right? That's an alcaldía. A restaurant, of course, a restaurant, right? Okay, so we'll continue with some vocabulary practice. So I need to analyze and check these words and we have to match, have to match the pictures with the vocabulary. So feel free to activate your microphone, okay? Interview, listen up and repeat that with me. Interview, interview, prepositions interview. of time, okay? Interview, interview, prepositions of time, Preposition of time. And scramble. And scramble. Guess. 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 Paragraph. Paragraph. Guess. Paragraph. Paragraph. Okay. Interview. Prepositions of time. And. Uh -huh. Unscramble, 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 guess, guess, paragraph, paragraph. Okay, so look at this. Uh, interview. Can you identify that picture for interview? Can you identify that? Picture number one, two, okay, one, two, three, four, or five. Which one? Interview, picture number. Number one, right? One. one. Prepositions of time. Number one. Number four. 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 Uh-huh. So we have at, in, and on, right? On. On scramble. What's that? On scramble. Number two. Number two. Okay. So what's the word? ¿Cuál es la palabra? Pay. Pay. Ah, okay. so what's the, the word? What? Apple, right? Apple. Oh. <laughs> Apple. Guess. Okay, guess. Picture number? Three. Three and paragraph. Picture? Five. Five, of course. So now we continue. Okay, so we're going to start learning about these prepositions. Just hold on. Give me one second. Okay, so look at this. We're going to start with these prepositions of place. We're going to check the definitions. Vamos a ver las definiciones. So I need you to pay attention to this. So we have at. This is the first one. In the previous session, we talked about at for time. In the session anterior, we talked about at for time. For hours specific. Now we use at for locations or points specific. So look at this specific point or location. Okay. So here you here you have it. Now look at this specific point or location. Ya todos ven la ven ahí el, la pantalla full screen. Sí. Okay. So look at this specific point. So a specific point could be at the airport, at school, at university, any point, any specific point. If you want to be specific, you use at, right? I'm at the supermarket. I'm at home. So that's a fixed expression. Okay, ahí el que teníamos acá, at home, es una expresión fijada, quiere decir que ya está determinada de esa forma, siempre la vamos a, siempre vamos a utilizar, y cuando queremos referirnos a ubicación, vamos a utilizar at con la palabra home, eso quiere decir a fixed expression, at the airport, at school, at university, at the city hall, at the bank, también puede ser en el banco o alguna tienda, at the bookstore, at, um, let's say, at, uh, well, it could be, let me, let me write something. Okay, at the supermarket. At, um, okay. Agricola Bank, for example. 
because you're being specific. So when you're being specific, you use at. So I'm at the supermarket. I'm at a at Agricola Bank. Okay. Okay. Uh, the second usage, places where events take place. So when we talk about these, we, means, uh, we mean buildings where events then take place. Entonces, cuando hablamos de esto, hablamos de lugares donde se llevan a cabo eventos. For example, it could be at a conference, at a party, uh, at a meeting. Podría ser en una reunión también, at a meeting. O sea, estamos hablando de, de la construcción del edificio donde se está ejecutando un evento. So, at a meeting. At a party. Oh, you already have it there. At a wedding. Okay. Podría ser en una reunión, en una fiesta, en una boda. So, I'm at a concert. Okay. Okay, at the movies, okay. Or you can mention at a, uh, let's say, uh, at any event where, a, or any place where an event takes place, okay. And then we also have the fixed expression at home. So we're gonna check some other fixed expressions. Vamos a ver otras fixed expressions later. And uh, well, that's what we have for at. Okay. Besides that, we're gonna check uh, at for specific addresses. Ya vamos a ver at también para ubicaciones específicas. Por ejemplo, eh, las calles. So I'm at, for example, at the corner. Estoy en la esquina. Or we're gonna check that. Um, that the addresses in a moment, okay? So we will continue with the next one. The next one is about a, the second proposition that we have, and it is uh, in, in. Okay, ahorita solo estamos viendo algunas. Después vemos eh, estas proposiciones ya más eh, específicas con ubicaciones, ubicaciones, es decir, calles, números de calles. So we're gonna check that. In, look at this, in close, Spaces, ¿qué quiere decir enclosed spaces? Espacios cerrados, pero también tenemos lo, pues, lo opuesto. Enclosed spaces or open spaces. Entonces, quiere decir que podemos utilizarlo tanto como un espacio cerrado o abiertos, but um, with boundaries. Entonces, pero todos estos espacios, ya sean abiertos o cerrados, están delimitados por eh, las dimensiones de, de ese espacio, ¿verdad? Es decir, por eso le ponemos ahí with boundaries, porque podría ser in a class, in class, in a class, okay, in the classroom, in the park, in the forest, in the mall. So it means that you can use in with uh, enclosed spaces and open spaces. The examples that we have here are in class, in my bathroom, in her bag. Entonces, lo único que acá que in lo utilizan con espacios abiertos o cerrados, delimitados por, por ciertas dimensiones, ¿verdad? Okay, uh, the second one that we have is cities, countries, and towns. Okay, remember, preposition of place, in. Recuerden, preposiciones de lugar, in. Cities, countries, and towns. In Rome in USA, in Manchester. Example, where do you live? I live in El Salvador, right? I live in El Salvador. And you can mention the other department in San Salvador. In, let's say, can you mention? Uh-huh. Russia. Russia. Russia could be one. Okay. In towns, pueden ser pueblos, ciudades, países, y colonias también. Uh, for example, can you mention a name of a, the name of a neighborhood? Un nombre de una colonia in, okay. Could be, mm -hmm. mention one, mention one. ¿Cuál podría ser? 
Colonia Centroamérica. Ajá, y en Colonia Centroamérica. So you can use in with uh, cities, countries, towns, neighborhoods. Entonces lo pueden utilizar con en países, o departamentos um, y colonias, right? So we continue with the next usage. Uh, besides that, you can also use in with some means of transportation where you can sit in a car, in a taxi, in a truck. Okay. So, but what you mean in here is that you are inside that car, okay? Inside that taxi or inside that truck, okay? But we have an exception on the bus. So you say, I'm on the bus. So you're sitting on the bus. That's a sentado in las sillas, on the bus. You're on the bus. And, okay, may I continue? Sí. Okay, so let's check the next one. So it's pretty easy. Look at this surface. So we have on for a surface. Okay, on. ¿Cuándo vamos a ocupar on? Con superficie. So look at this surface. On a wall. On a wall. On a floor. So what's a wall? ¿Quién recuerda qué significaba wall? Sobre. Uh -huh. O encima de la mesa. Sobre el muro. O sobre el piso. Esto. Mm -hmm. In addition, you're going to also, you're going to uh, use on with the rivers, coast, lakes, and water. For example, on river Thames, on uh, Apollo Lake, right. <laughs> or you can mention some others, right? Coast, las costas, los ríos, lagos, or uh, water. And um, we have a new one in here, means of communication for example i heard it uh, i heard the news on the internet on facebook on youtube okay on youtube on the radio uh -huh. ah okay but that's with um on your phone this on YouTube, on the radio, on the internet, on TV. Uh huh. You have on TV, on TV, and this is on YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. Okay, no more YouTube <laughs> on YouTube. Uh, transport where you can stand and walk. También esto fue que les comentaba el medio de transporte donde usted puede ponerse de pie y caminar. Um, so that was the difference with the previous one that it says transport where you sit. Medio de transporte donde usted se sienta, okay? So in a car, a taxi, a truck. Um, transport where you can stand and walk on a train, on a bus, on a ship. Fixed expressions. También tenemos expresiones fijadas o estandarizadas. Tenemos on a form, on the left, on the right. And holidays. Hmm, okay, and holidays. Acá es, está de tiempo. <laughs> es de tiempo. But the rest are okay. On a form, on the left, on the right. So let's see. Questions, questions, guys. Not yet, not yet. Okay, so we're going to check some exercises, so just let me open that. Give me a moment, please. So look at this. We're gonna um check these prepositions a little bit more, and we're gonna just uh, start. Put on the left of the sofa. Okay. 
Okay, let's see, look at this. We have to um, use the prepositions that you're gonna use what you heard, aunque escuchar, y hacer lo que el ejercicio nos pide. Uh, example. Put the plan on the left of the sofa. Mm -hmm. Put the plan on the left of the sofa, okay? So I'm gonna send you the link so you can work on that. Okay. So I'm gonna be doing this here, but you can do that um, if you open the meeting chat. También lo pueden hacer si abren el, el meeting chat. Ahí les compartí el enlace. So you can uh, work on that. For example, put the plan on the left of the sofa. Left, okay? Which is your left side. Okay. Here. Ah, okay. Left put side. Put under the chair. Put the keys under the chair. This is another preposition. ¿A dónde van las llaves? Under. La silla. On the chair. Under the chair. This is Debajo. The uh -huh. Put the uh -huh. tissues yeah. in front of the sofa. Enfrente en del sofá. Okay. Put the candle on the table. En la mesa. Okay, sobre la mesa. Put the cushion on the sofa. Cushion on the sofa. What's the cushion? This one. ¿Dónde va? Put the cat under the table. How about the cat? The cat is sobre la mesa. Under, under. Debajo. Uh -huh. Debajo, Debajo la mesa. Pero... Under the okay. on the right of the chair. Put the bag on the right of the chair. Right side. On the la mochila. The back on the right of the chair. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Put the picture above the chair. Put the picture above the chair. Above means arriba de arriba. Okay. Put the picture above the chair. Here. Put the books above the sofa. The books above the sofa were. Put the lamp between the sofa and chair. Okay. Where do we put the lamp? ¿Dónde ponemos la lámpara? En medio de el sofá y del... Put the newspaper on the chair. Uh -huh. Put the newspaper on the chair. Where, where, Sarita? En medio de... En la silla. Ajá, uh -huh, en la silla. Okay. Put the remote under the sofa. Remote under the sofa. Bajo Here, el sofá. Right? Debajo, right? Okay, nice. We did it. So now let's see. I will show you. Put the you. printer on the small table. Okay, so where do I have to put the printer? ¿Dónde ponemos la impresora? En la mesa, en la mesa pequeña. Ah, okay. Small. Put the box under the desk. Box under the bed, desk? Abajo del, del escritorio. Okay. okay. Put the bin on the left of the desk. How about this? Put the bean, the bean, this is a bean, on the a left. Izquierdo del, a un, a izquierdo del, del speakers next to the computer. Put the speakers next to the computer. Después de la computadora, a un lado. A un lado. Mm, next to the computer. Okay. Put the keyboard in front keyboard, of the computer. Keyboard, this is the keyboard word. Put the whiteboard behind the desk. Okay, whiteboard behind the desk. Whiteboard, this is the whiteboard. De, detrás de, de, del escritorio. Mm, okay. Put the heater in the corner. Heater, okay. A una esquina de... In the corner. I think over here. Put the scissors on the left of the scissors computer. Scissors on the left of the computer. A la izquierda. A la izquierda. 
Okay. Put the folders on the right of the computer. Where? A la derecha. The folders. A la derecha. You okay? Put the papers on the chair. Papers on the chair? Put the yeah, pens right. <laughs> on the desk. Pens on the desk? Mm -hmm. Pens on the desk? On the lapicero en el escritorio. En el escritorio, uh -huh. Put the mouse next to the computer. A la par del teclado. Mm -hmm. Next to the computer. Okay, well done. So if you notice, we have started some more prepositions. Put the o sea, watermelon in the fridge on the bottom shelf. Okay, put a watermelon in the fridge on the bottom shelf. Watermelon in the fridge. Watermelon, this is watermelon. Yeah. A la par de la naranja. Mm, on the bottom shelf. En la refri. Ketchup uh -huh. on bottom the shelf means above, above, above. the orange. Put the ketchup on the shelf above the orange. Above. A un lado de, abajo de la, mm. de la naranja. De la naranja. Abajo de la naranja. Mm -hmm. above. Arriba. 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 In the fridge. On the top shelf. Put the sausages in the fridge on the top. Arriba. Arriba. Uh -huh. Arriba. Del yes. Put the butter in the fridge butter? under the tomatoes. Where? Abajo de los tomates. En el refrigerador. Okay. Under the tomatoes. Put the eggs above the orange. Eggs above the orange. Por la parte de los huevos la... arriba de la... Above. Uh -huh. Above means arriba, arriba. Water. About this one? La leche junto al agua. Después, la leche de, junto, después de la, del agua. Ajá, uh -huh. a un lado de? Del de agua. agua. Okay, next to, Put the a la par, a un lado. In the fridge, Put the orange the juice. A la par. Pobre. Ah, el agua. En, encima, Pobre, arriba. Arriba. De agua. Arriba. Arriba. Mm -hmm. Put the cereal on the top left shelf. El cereal va yeah. arriba a la, de, a la izquierda del... ¿Qué es este servicio o qué? Uh, shelf es el estante. Ah, el estante. Oh, ok, so we didn't do it on time. Ok, no me alcanzó el tiempo. Uh, time, eight minutes. That's good. Ok, alguien creo que ya me envió una captura que lo hizo bien rápido. Okay, let's see. Uh, we continue. Just let me open something else because I have some other activities and we continue uh, with this. So I need to have these uh, clear. You can practice without a link. So if you got the link, you, you can continue practicing. So just hold on. Okay, so look at the picture. So we have to select the right answer, the right sentence. So based on what we see in, in this picture. So it's A, B, or C. The books are next to the apple. The books are behind the apple. Or the books are under the apple. Which one? Next to, a la par de, atrás. Next to the apple. Uh, debajo. Next to, uh -huh. the book next to the apple. Mm -hmm. They are next to the apple. Okay, the apple is in front of the books and the pencils. The apple is between the books and the pencils. The apple is behind the pencils. Where's the apple? Behind the pencils. Between. Uh, behind. Between. Mm, between. En medio de. The apple is between the books and the pencils. Yeah. Los libros. Yeah. Sí. Mm, okay. Yeah, you were right. En medio. Mm. Okay, look at this one. Where's the ruler? Ruler. 
it will move its string drop. In front of the clock? The on the hour. clock? Behind the clock? A. A. In front. In front of mm -hmm. the clock. Yeah, you're right. In front of the clock. Yeah, it's here. It's not under. Uh, how about this one about the fish? The fish is on the water. The fish is in the water. The fish is on the book. B. 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 The fish, the in the fish water. is in the water. In the water. Excellent. Well done. Number five. The red book is between the fish and the clock, next to the fish and the clock, or under the fish. Number A. 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 The red book is between the fish and the clock. Mm -hmm. You're right. Okay, so we continue. The blue book. Where is the blue book? Where is the blue book? Left. Is under the Left. book yellow. Under the yellow book. Mm, okay. B. Yeah, it was B. So look at this. So you're going to be uh, ready to work on some more activities after this. So now I'll show you another picture and I need your help. Okay, I'm gonna send you the link for this one. Okay, para esta le voy a enviar el link. So um, I need you to open that, okay? So look at this, the instructions are the following. You have too much, uh, you have to drag and drop this. Uh, well, just drag. The coffee table okay. is on the carpet. The coffee table on the carpet. So this is the carpet, this mm. is the coffee table, I think. Coffee table, carpet. So that's what you have to do, okay? So at the end, send me a screenshot. Al final me envían una captura, como les quedó. And you submit okay. answers. Mm -hmm. So start doing it, start doing it. So let's read the possibilities. We have the lamp is on the sofa. The sofa is in front of the window. Remember, you drag this. Recuerden que van a arrastrar el puntito hasta donde está el objeto que les está indicando. Uh, the flowers are on the table. The coffee uh, table is on the carpet. The TV is next to the sofa. The carpet is under the coffee table. And here you have some others. Sarita, help me read that, please. Sarita, ayúdame a leer estos, okay? The chair is opposite. Where is Sarita? Sarita, hello. Ah, you are mute, Sarita. En silencio. Hola, hola. No, no. es que estaba, estaba en el link y cuando estaba ahí se me apaga el micrófono. Ah, ok. Ok, don't worry. That's ok. Ah, bueno. Ah. Um, DJ. Ajá. Uh -huh. DJ is opposite the coffee table. Continue, the cupboard. The cupboard is behind the TV. Uh -huh. Behind, behind that TV. Behind. The, the painting is on the wall. Okay, painting, what's painting? Painting, what's painting. La painting. pintura, okay. Painting. The, uh, the armchair, armchair. The armchair is in front of the coffee table. Okay, the cups. The cups are in the um cupboard. Cupboard. Okay. So continue, Sarita. Now continue with your exercise. Okay. Yeah. So I'm gonna send you the link back again. Okay, quienes no han ingresado el link, ahí se lo envío nuevamente para que puedan ingresar. And then you send me a screenshot. Envíen la captura. 
So, questions about the vocabulary. Preguntas del vocabulario, chicos. So this uh, cupboard, I don't know, do you know what a cupboard is, cupboard? El cupboard puede representar varias cosas, puede ser el armario, podría ser la alacena, o, well, this, actually, this, right? I don't know how you call it. So where you store things, plates, for example. Okay, Nikki, 11 out of 11, nice. Did you finish? Did you finish? Terminaron, chicos. Let's see. I need to check that. Okay, so let me check. Nice, Oscar. Well done, Oscar. Okay, so let's see. Where is it? It's here. Okay. The lamp is on the sofa. Where is the lamp? Number one, the lamp is on the sofa. Volunteer. Carlos, where's the lamp? Where's the lamp? A las 15 y 5, Medellín, Bogotá. Okay, so look at this. The normal question that we uh, ask, that we ask when we talk about place is where. where? Okay, so look at this. Where? Where is the lamp? The lamp is uh -huh. on the sofa. It's this way you have. Así lo tienen. The lamp is on the sofa. Tell me. The lamp is, is on the sofa. Mm -hmm. Okay, how about uh, the sofa is in front of the window? Where is the sofa? Uh, en frente de la ventana. Okay, nice. How about the flowers? The flowers are on the table. Where are the flowers? The flowers. Eh, en, uh, sobre? La mesa. la mesa. Okay. The next one. The coffee table is on the carpet. Coffee table. Mes, la mesa, mesa del café. Mesa. Okay, está sobre qué? Sobre la carpet, la, la alfombra. Okay. And okay, the next one is 
uh, this one, that chair, is opposite the coffee table. Opposite means al en frente, pero hay al otro lado, opuesto. So the chair is opposite the coffee table. This one, right? The cupboard is behind the TV. Where is the cupboard? Cupboard? ¿A dónde está? A la par. Behind, behind. Look at this, behind. Uh -huh. Atrás, atrás. A un behind sí. means atrás. Ok. The TV is next to the sofa. Ok, this, the TV. The armchair is in front of the coffee table. True? Armchair, this, this one, right? El sofá. Okay. Uh, the painting is on the wall. ¿Dónde está la pintura? En la pared. En la pared, okay. The carpet is under the coffee table. Abajo de la mesa. Ajá, la alfombra. Abajo de la mesa. Abajo de la mesa. The cups are in the cupboard. The cups. Las tazas. La tapa de. Ajá. Ya, ya está. The cups are in the cupboard. Here? <laughs> that looks like <laughs> tapadera. Okay. And, okay, so let's check it. It's that what you have. Así lo tenían. I just check uh, some of you. So we're going to see. <laughs> Okay, nice. Hold on. So we continue now with uh, some speaking practice. So I think you're ready. Like this. Um, okay, question. Okay, so let me see this. Okay, so we start with uh, speaking practice. Look at this. So the question is, what is in your pocket? So what is in your pocket? So can you check your pockets, your pockets, your bolsillos? So what is in your pocket, guys? Uh, there is, uh-huh, yes. What is in your pocket? <laughs> that is one dollar. Money. Uh, Eduardo, what is in your pocket? <laughs> I haven't pockets in this moment. Mm, okay. <laughs> Pictures are many money. Okay. I'm not pockets right now. Okay, look at this. Vamos a utilizar esta, esta estructura para mencionar que hay adentro. Y vamos a utilizar la frecuencia. Um, what is in your pocket? La pregunta es, ¿qué hay en tus bolsillos? There is means hay, pero forma singular. There is, uh, example, there is a dollar, for example. I don't know. Um, there are two, okay, two dollars. So you start thinking about, just give me one example. Deme un ejemplo. There are two dollars. So just keep in mind this. Solamente recuerden esto. Singular y plural, ¿ok? Para mostrar existencia. Hay un dólar, hay dos dólares. Ok. Let's see. Um, what is in your pocket, Carlos? What's in your pocket? There are... Ten dólares. Ten dólares, ok. One hundred dólares. One hundred dólares. How about Ooh. you, Sarita? <laughs> Wow, that was Fran. Is it a Fran? Okay. Hello. What is in your pocket, Sarita? I am the dollar. There are. There are. <laughs> there are. Two dollars. There are. Two dollars. There are two dollars. I there there are two dollars. Okay. <laughs> okay, two dollars. Nice. 
uh, for the bus fare, para el pasaje, bus fare, okay? Um, this is pronounced as there, there, I remember, are, there, there are, there are, there are, there are, there are two dollars, there are two, uh, well, let's see, two hundred dollars. <laughs> Okay, um, how about you, Cindy? Cindy, what is in your pocket? What is in your pocket? Um, that is five dollars. Five dollars, okay. Douglas, what is in your pocket, Douglas? There are three dollars. Three dollars, okay. I like that. Fatima, what, what is in your pocket? Uh, what? Uh, un dollar. One dollar. <laughs> one dollar. One dollar. One. One. One dollar. One dollar. One dollar. One dollar. Okay. One dollar. Okay. Marvin, how about you? Marvin, tell us. Share it with us. Marvin. What is in your pocket, Marvin? Three dollars. Three dollars, okay. He doesn't look really happy. Okay, Ileana, how about you, Ileana? What is in your pocket? There are yeah. ten, ten dollars. Mm, interesting. Ileana dice que nos va a invitar a una cosa. Elsie. A terminar el mes. <laughs> ya casi, ya casi. Ya casi. <laughs> Elsie? Uh, they are five dollars. Five dollars, okay. There are five dollars. Sarita? Well, Sara, Sara, actually, Sara. Six dollars. Six dollars. <laughs> Zero. Zero or six? <laughs> six. Ah, okay, okay. <laughs> okay, how about you, Estamos Yolanda? Esperando. Estamos esperando. Wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Don't pass. there is a candy there is a candy okay yeah <laughs> the winner <laughs> okay uh how about you let's see um oscar no sé si oscar está por acá todavía no no it's not here yet okay so we continue with the questions okay so look at this um what is in your bag or backpack? Okay, so what do you have in your bag or your backpack? So there is, so we continue with this. There is a book, for example, and you add in, in my backpack, no, in my bag, okay. So just complete this structure, okay? There is a book in my bag. There is a, there is makeup in my bag. There is a pencil. There is a, I don't know. So you tell me. Uh-huh. the <laughs> okay. So what do you have? What is in your bag or backpack? Okay. Uh -huh. My computer. Okay, your computer. Yeah. Okay. okay. There is complete the structure. Complete la estructura. Con okay. eso. There is a book in my bag. There is a book in my backpack, okay? There is a sweater in my bag. In your backpack? Backpack? La mochila? O el bolso? Okay. Uh, how about you, Carlos? Carlos, what is in your bag? Pack? <laughs> there is an iPad in my backpack. Okay, there is an iPad. Continue, Carlos, with the question. Select your victim. Uh, Marvin, what is in your back or backpack? There is a sweater in my back. There is a sweater. Continue, Marvin. Back. Sara. Okay. What? Is in your bag or backpack? And um, there is my cane in my bag. Mm -hmm. There is a case, or there are, so you can add more. Uh, mm -hmm. Pueden agregar más, okay? There are. 
Ok, Sara, Sara, please ask a classmate. Pregúntale a un compañero, Sara. What is in your bag or backpack? Mm. Nikki? There is a t-shirt. Ok. Continue, Nikki. Ask a classmate. Ok, what is in your bag or backpack? Um, Fatima. Is it is my cat? <laughs> okay, there is there is there is makeup. There is makeup. Okay, there is makeup. Important. Continue, Fatima. What is in your bag on backpacks? Um, Cindy. Cindy. <laughs> Cindy. Are you here, Cindy? Hello, hello, Cindy. Active your microphone, Cindy. No, not here. Okay, um, select somebody else. Uh, Cindy, tiene apagado el micrófono. Él le pregunta a alguien más. Ajá, sí, no sé qué problema tengo sin ahí. I'm sorry, eh, sorry. Ahí está ya, ahí está ya. Ok, ah, ya había ah, trabado ah. la computadora. <ríe> está ahí. bien. Ok, repeat the question, Fátima. Uh, what, what is in your bag or backpack? Cindy? There is. Um, There is a ¿Cómo se dice derecha? Right. Ah, there is a right. Mm. No no sé si le comprendí muy bien. Acá, eh, por ejemplo, ¿qué, ¿qué es lo que hay en su en su bolso, en su mochila? Ah, ok, yo pensé Ajá. que a un lado. Uh -huh. No, no, no. Uh -huh. so, uh, there, is a, there is a computer uh, and okay. pencil. And pencils. Okay. Thank you, Cindy. Cindy, please, could you ask a classmate? ¿Puedo preguntarle a alguien más? Cindy? Okay. What is in your back or back part? Um, Carlos? There is a computer in my backpack. Okay, could you ask uh, Dennis? Oh, is... uh -huh. Yeah, Carlos, tell me. What is your bag or backpack, uh, Fatima? Oh, uh, no, so you have, uh, we have Dennis, let's see who else. Ileana, Eduardo, I think, <laughs> Douglas. Or Fran, Fran. What is your bag? What is your bag or bar pack? Uh, Frank. It's a man in my bag. Mm -hmm. What is in your bag, bag? Frank? Pantalon. Pantalon. Ah, okay. Strokes. Trousers. Pantalón. There is a pair of trousers. There is a pair of trousers. Are the pantalones? Okay. Uh, what else, Fran? ¿Qué más mencionó Fran? Just that. So Liza. So Liza. Ah, okay. Thank you, Fran. So look at this. What is on your table? So now I need to look around and, uh, well, if you're on a table, so, or on your desk, I need you to check what is on your table. What is on your table? Example, 
on my table, there is um, okay, a speaker. There is a speaker on the table. There is a picture on the table. So I'm telling you what I have on my table. Uh, in addition, there is a there is a book on the table. So I have a lot of things. So you have to tell me what is on your desk or table. There is, uh, in addition, there is a, a bottle of water on the table, okay, or a desk. There is a marker on my desk, okay? Okay, so question, what is on your table? What is on your table? Let's see, one by one. So you have to tell me um, the things that you have. So you can use this plural structure. Uh, there are uh, speakers, for example, speakers, uh, pictures, I don't know, books, a computer. So if you're going to uh, use a plural uh, noun, so you have to substantive plural. There are there are speakers, there are pictures, there are books. This is solamente just if you're just one, if there are just one, just use a uh, is right. There is a speaker on the table. There is a picture on the table. Okay, let's see. Give me a description. Give me a description. What is on your table? Let's see. Number one, Marvin. Marvin, give us a description, Marvin. Mm, okay. Puede ser su escritorio, puede ser any table that you have. Okay. Go ahead, Marvin. There is? Uh, and there, okay. There is, I don't know, there are books, book, and the dictionary. Okay, and? Dictionary. Dictionaries, plural, just one dictionary or two? One. Ah, okay, dictionary. One dictionary. Okay. And book. And books, okay, and one book. Okay, Marvin, as a classmate, as a classmate. Okay, right. Sarita. <laughs> okay, Sarita. Ya sabía. <laughs> <laughs> Uh -huh. What is on your table? There is uh, flowers on the table. There are flowers. There are flowers. There are flowers. There, there, there are, are flowers. flowers. Uh -huh. Plural. Just that. Just, uh, just flowers, Sarita? Solo flores? What else? ¿Qué más? Um, 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 books, um, pen. And uh, telephone, a cell, cell, cell phone, a smartphone. Okay, uh, Sarita, please ask a classmate. Sarita, ask a classmate. Was in, was in your the table, um, Eduardo? There is a uh board on my table okay there is a there is a lamp oh, nice. on my table and there is a cell phone on my table okay and there are books on my table okay excellent eduardo continue with the question it's my <laughs> select your big Okay, Carlos. Yeah. What is on your table? Or oh, what is on your table? Okay. There is a fan pencil on the table. Okay, there is a pencil on the table. What else? ¿Qué más? What else? Okay. Books. Books. There are books. A ruler. A ruler. Speaker on, oh. my, on my table. Oh, oh. Mm -hmm. on, on the, the table. On the table or on the desk. Puede ser el escritorio, yeah. desk. 
Uh -huh, desk. Okay, uh, Carlos, please, uh, as a classmate, as a classmate. Eh, Sarita, what is somebody on else? Table? Sorry, uh, sorry. Ah. Um, somebody else, please. So we have Elsie, no? Lenny, Cindy, uh, Douglas. Somebody else, alguien más, Carlos. Uh huh. Sí. Gabriela. Eh, what is you in your table, Gabriela? Hello, Gabi, Gabriela. Let me check that. Gabriela, hello, hello. Okay, she's not here. Uh, ask a classmate. Somebody else, please. Okay, Gabriela is here. Ahí está, ahí está aquí, Gabriela. Activate your microphone, Gabriela. Okay. Ah, okay. So you have to mention what is on your table. Tienen que mencionar lo que hay sobre el escritorio, sobre la mesa. Mm -hmm. There is a computer, for example. Hay una computadora. There is a, I don't know, there is a picture. Hay una foto. There is a marker. No se escucha nada. No se escucha nada. Estimados. Okay. Sí, era, era ahí el micrófono de Gabriel. Okay, so that, that was the example, Gabriela. There is a bottle, hay una botella. So you mentioned just one example. Okay, um, Gabriela, ahora sí. There is a book. There is a book. Okay, thank you, Gabriela. Um, let's see, let's ask somebody else. Cindy, how about you, Cindy? What is on your desk? What is on your desk? Uh, there is a computer, okay, pens, book, and a school decoration. Ah, okay, nice. Uh, let's see, let's ask somebody else. How about you, Yolanda? Tell us, give us a description. Um, in my tablet, there is a, a stuffed animal, I don't know what to say, peluche. Yeah, stuffed animals, toys. Stuffed animals. And a beside lamp. La lampara de mesa. Bedside. Bedside. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He saw that. And my cell phone. <laughs> and your cell phone. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, Yolanda. And uh, how about you, Fatima? We'll finish with you, Fatima. Tell us. Ya le hemos preguntado, Fatima. <laughs> Repeat. Actually, you're not. Uh, no. Okay. Tell Waiter us. is pencil. Is computer. Okay. There are. There is a pencil. Mm -hmm. There they is a pencil. There is a pencil. There is computer. There is a computer. A computer is a um, book. There is. Uh huh. Okay. A book. There are books. Are uh, books. <laughs> Books. Ok, nada más acá. Sí. Recuerden, singular, eh. there is. Singular, sustantivo singular. Plural, eh, si tenemos acá la forma, are. la expresión, there are. Forma plural, también el sustantivo debe de eh, ir plural. Y acá, como en este caso son sustantivos singulares, vamos a anteponer el artículo, el artículo A eh, o N, ¿verdad? A o N. Ajá. Okay, okay. N. okay, there is a pencil, there is a computer, there is a, a okay, a this is a in the classroom. <laughs> okay, okay. So let's, let's continue. Okay, so look at this. So here we have a chart. This is uh, what we were studying. Esto era lo que estamos viendo anteriormente. Ahora lo estamos viendo un poquito más. Determine acá determinando este, ubicaciones, ubicaciones, es decir, eh, las anteriores también, pero ahora lo estamos viendo como ubicaciones de calles, de avenidas, de direcciones, eh, siempre eh, preposiciones de lugar. 
Okay, so look at this. Number one, we have uh, number one. This is number one, in. Do you remember neighborhoods? Chinatown, los vecindarios con los países, city, uh, well, cities, ciudades, y, y países, cities, so like Washington, countries, países, the United States, and places with a boundary. Y los lugares con una, con una delimitación. Cuando hablábamos de las dimensiones, ¿verdad? por ejemplo, el salón de clases, un cuarto, tiene ciertas dimensiones, utilizamos in, que pueden ser espacios abiertos o cerrados. ¿Do you remember that? Es en ese caso utilizamos in. Okay, so on. When do we use on? Look at these streets, avenues, con calles y con avenidas. Por ejemplo, Pennsylvania Avenue. Pennsylvania Avenue. So we start with the name of the street. And then uh, you are the avenue, right? Pennsylvania. Well, this is an example of an avenue. This is an example of an avenue. Pennsylvania Avenue. Or you can mention the name of a street. It could be the name of a street. So could you give me a name of a street here in El Salvador? Name of a street? Calle Gabriela Mistral. Okay, Calle Gabriela Mistral. On. Okay, I would say on Gabriela Mistral Street, okay? Mientras no altere el significado de, del nombre, no hay ningún problema. Puedo, puedo comunicarlo así. On Gabriela Mistral Street, pero no voy a traducir, ¿verdad? Eh, bueno, en este caso es un nombre de, una, de, de, de alguien, ¿no? Entonces no, tampoco lo podría traducir. Pero eh, no vamos a traducir, por ejemplo, Calle de Oro, ¿verdad? No vamos a traducir este... Los nombres, ¿verdad? Son nombres ya establecidos. Okay. On, uh, okay, I was thinking about this. On Panamericana the Street. Okay. Sobre la carretera Panamericana, right? So you can add a different, different, different streets. Entonces ahí pueden ubicar ustedes um, diferentes sí. Eh, Calles, diferentes calles o avenidas. Con, eh, can you mention the name of an avenue? El nombre de una avenida. Avenida, no. Avenida Norte. Avenida España. Avenida, 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 Avenida España. Avenida Independencia. On Bernal Avenue. Ok. Avenue. Or you can use the. Um, Acronym, ok. También está el acrónimo. On Bernal Avenue, on Independencia, you said, right? Avenida Jerusalén. Independencia Avenue, ok. Avenida Jerusalén, on Jerusalén Avenue, ok. Ok. So there you have um, some examples of avenues on the 20. Okay. 26th Avenue. Okay, I, I mentioned the 26th on the 26th Avenue. Okay. Cinco Avenida Norte. Uh -huh. On the 5th. Sería on 5th Avenue. Done. Okay, 5th Avenue. Okay, entonces vamos a utilizar este on con nombres de calles y con nombres de avenidas. También con nombres de islas. Eh, on Fiji, right? Island. Uh, for large vehicles, on a train, on bus, on ship. También para vehículos largos de tamaños enormes, como el tren, el bus o el, un barco, right? Y las superficies, que es lo que hemos estado viendo anteriormente con los ejercicios que hacíamos. Uh, now we continue with um, ah, me, Nótese acá que vamos desde general a específico, como lo veíamos anteriormente con las de tiempo. ¿verdad? Miren, de in, vamos de ciudades, países, de on, ya vamos con calles, avenidas. Y con at, ¿qué se imaginan con at? Look at this. Look at the example, addresses. Uh -huh. ¿Sería dirección específica o dirección exacta? Exacta. Correcto, entonces quiere decir que acá. Ubicación uh -huh. Specific locations, home, the court. También tenemos algunas eh, palabras. 
que nos ayudan a dar una, un punto de referencia exacto, por ejemplo, en, la, en casa, en la esquina. So at the corner of, um, let's say, Sissimile Street, there is a bank en la esquina, o en la esquina de, de la calle Sissimile hay un banco, por ejemplo. Ok, um, or at the end, también podría ser. At the end, pero creo que no, no es así. Yo no me pongo muy bien ahí la ubicación. But at the end of uh, Sissimile Street, or at the end of uh, Metro Centro, or next to Metro Centro, there is a, there is a bank, right? So, but I don't know, pero creo que no es el final de la calle. Entonces, no, no les podría dar el ejemplo, pero at the end, pongamos, pongámoslo acá. At the end of... Uh, Uh -huh. There is a bank, ¿ok? ¿Eh? Hay un banco al final de la calle Six Miles. Ok, so I'm gonna write it, leave it over here. Okay, para los que conocen, no, no sé, no, no sé dónde termina la calle Six Miles, pero, ok, Six Miles, eso es el año. Hay pero, un restaurante es... famoso que se llama Mamá Rosa. Ah, ok. Entonces ahí tenemos algo más, más claro. At the end of the small street, there is. Um, ok. There is a restaurant. Name. Mama Rossi. Ajá. Uh -huh. Mama Rossi. Sí. Ok. So there you have it. Ahí tenemos un ejemplo, miren. Al well, final, actually. al final de la calle Susimile hay un restaurante oh, llamado Mama Rossi. Okay, and look at this, specific uh, addresses. Entonces, también, esto sería con una expresión, at the end. También teníamos la otra, at the corner. At the corner. Pero, además de eso, tenemos eh, puntos específicos o direcciones exactas. Por ejemplo, at uh, 47. Mm, let's say Oxford Street. This is just an example. Oxford Street. So, which means that you have to add uh, the preposition, okay, add plus a uh, number plus the name of the street. Entonces, aquí. Y acá, ustedes van a ubicar qué cosas. Vamos a poner por acá. Se ve acá, se ve. Aquí, at the corner, ¿quién es okay. uh -huh. okay. Con el ejemplo que tenemos ahí, vamos a notar que necesitamos la preposición at para direcciones exactas. At plus a number, más un número, más el nombre de la calle. So at 47th Oxford Street. At the 47th Oxford Street. So let's see. Uh, I need you to think about some examples, but we will check some more, okay? Okay, so do you copy this? Do you have that? Okay. Okay. But is it clear? Is the idea clear with these prepositions? Está clara la idea ahí de las preposiciones, chicos? Sí. Okay, so let's continue. We're going to check some more examples and then we come back. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So here I have a comparative chart. Aquí tengo un cuadro, well, tenemos algo, cuadro comparativo, algo así, para um, determinar cuándo vamos a utilizar in estas tres tipos, estas tres proposiciones con tiempo y con ubicación. Okay, so if you remember in the previous class, we talked about time with uh, centuries, decades, years, months, and weeks. Entonces aquí ya lo tienen resumido todo. Con uh, siglos, décadas, años, meses de, del año, semanas, días de la semana. Miren acá, in, on, days of the week, or dates. Mm -hmm. Fechas, eh, especi fechas especiales, días de la semana. También con weekend. Y, ok. Y vamos de general a específico. Seven with hours. 
or at specific times, right? Horas específicas. Venimos acá con ubicación. The same that we have studied, England, London. So we have a country, a city, a neighborhood. We have streets and avenues on calles y avenidas. Or for address, address specific location. También para ubicaciones exactas. Look at this, the 734 Oxford Street. So mira, aquí tenemos otro ejemplo de, de una calle. 734 Oxford Street. So that's the name, the number plus the name of the street. And el número más el nombre de la calle. Okay, so you can uh, take a screenshot, take a picture of it, and uh, share it with the class. Pueden tomar una captura y lo comparten con el grupo. So let me know if you have done that. ¿Ya lo hicieron? Okay. Yes? Okay. Okay, so look at this example. So where is the teacher? Where is the teacher? The teacher is where? In? In the classroom. Okay. Where is the doctor? Where is the doctor? In? in the clinic. In the clinic, in his office. Okay, in su oficina, en su consultorio. Where is the cat? In the, in the box. box. In the, box. In, the box. in the box. Where is, let's say, okay, <laughs> where is Donald Trump? <laughs> uh -huh. uh -huh. He is in his? In the Capitol. In his office, in his office. Okay. Si, sí, ahí podríamos decir incluso, he is at, the, at his desk. Para, para indicar que está en el escritorio, ¿verdad? He is at... Apoyado en el escritorio. Ajá. Cuando alguien está trabajando, quiere decir que... Eh, he's trabaja, a, he's a, he's at. Debería ser at. The desk. At his desk. At. He's at the desk. Or at his desk. Está en su escritorio. También si digo on, quiere decir que está encima de ¿verdad? Pero ahí no podría utilizar el nombre de la persona. Entonces... So I can say he's at. Es lo mismo que les comentaba cuando les decía que, um, ¿cómo decir cuando alguien está sentado a la mesa? Uh, we are at the, let's say, at the table. Okay? Estamos ya en el, com en el comedor. So we're at the table. Estamos todos esperando. So we're at. at. Estamos at. refiriéndonos nada más a que estamos dentro del, de la ubicación o del lugar, del, de las dimensiones de ese espacio. Es in. Como por ejemplo el gato, the cat is in the box, in the classroom, in, in the back, in una, in una bolsa. Okay. So now look at this. Where is Bicentenario Park? Where is Bicentenario Park? Tell me, where is Bicentenario Park? What is Bicentenario Park? Or mention any other uh, park o cualquier otro parque que ustedes conozcan. So tell me another place. San Salvador. Uh -huh. San Salvador or La Libertad? San Salvador. San Salvador. Okay. So Bicentenario Park is in San Salvador. San Salvador. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So where is this uh, house? Where is this house? Do you know this house? ¿Qué conoce esta casa? Bueno, ya no está, creo yo. <laughs> Where was the house? Have you visited Costa del Sol? Yes, right? Es en La Puntilla. Es en La, la, la Puntilla. Puntilla. Okay. So, where is Parque Balboa? Do you know? Parque Balboa. Mm. Um, en Panchimalco. En Panchimalco. Oh, mm. los planes, no sé. Los planes. Los planes. Y los planes. How about this guy? Where is this guy? Where is this boy? What is him? What is him? He is in? In the car. In a car. Mm -hmm. In a car. Okay, nice. 
So now look at this. Where is that TV? TV, remember, surface, recuerden, para superficies. Where is TV? Uh -huh. Where is that TV? Uh, look at this. So you have some pictures here. Okay. Where is that TV? Where is it? Where is it? Where is that TV? Look at that TV. They're here, over here. Uh, 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 on? On? on the on room. The, on the wall. On the wall. Recuerden. On the wall. Superficies. Uh -huh. Superficies. Uh -huh. um, how about, let's see, do you like music? Where do you listen to music? <laughs> on YouTube. <laughs> Not anymore on the Reagan is a la radio. <laughs> yeah, right? On, uh -huh, on the radio. <clears throat> so what do you use with this, um, with media? ¿Qué utilizamos, qué proporción utilizamos con social media? Look at this. Uh -huh. Look at this. On the radio, on TV, on the internet, on a website. Okay. On YouTube. So you can say on YouTube. And... Okay. Uh, we have at. Look at this. Yeah, at. Yeah. Para point en un punto en específico. Okay. También con las palabras. Ajá. La uh -huh. anterior crimen la forma. Okay. okay. Gracias. 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 Okay, so look at this. Where's the cat? So we have at for a, at a specific point uh, with the words, but the top, bottom, and end of. También tenemos con las palabras arriba de, abajo de, y al final de. So top means arriba. So they remember the top 10 uh, songs. <laughs> ¿Se recuerdan el top 10 que ponían ahí? Las canciones más solicitadas, right? So the top at the bottom. Uh, group activities, también con actividades grupales, como lo mencionábamos, que toman lugar en un, en un edificio, ¿verdad? At a party, uh, um, yeah, a building. At a concert, at the cinema, with the word school and university, también con las palabras school y universidad. At school at university. And besides that, you also have a home and work at home and at work. Okay. With shops, con, también con tiendas. At the bakery and a bakery. At a cafe. So this is cafe. Cafe. At a cafe. At a chemist. At that chemist. Okay, so look at this. Where is the cat? So can you tell me where is the cat? Look at the, look at this. Where's the cat? Hello. <laughs> the cat? At? At the door. At the door. Yeah, the cat is at the door. He's in a specific point. Where is the dog? Where is the dog? Tell me. Mm -hmm. Where is the dog? Carlos, Douglas, Eduardo, Fatima? Where is the dog? So how do you call this? How do you call this? Stairs. Look at this. Stairs. At stairs. the top of the stairs. At the top. At the top. Arriba de, right? Arriba de. Yes. Top. Mm -hmm. Okay. This. Where is the bank? So now tell me where is the bank? The bank is at. Okay, we don't have this in here, but we mention it. Okay, no, no aparece ahí, pero la mencionamos en, en unas láminas anteriormente. So where is the bank? The bank is at. At the end of the street. At the end of the street or at the corner of the street. 
Ajá. Puede ser at the corner of the second block. Puede ser en la esquina de la segunda cuadra. At the end of the second block. Second block. Okay, so the, the bank is at the end of the second block. So, yeah. probably, right? Or at the end of the street. At the end of the street. At the corner, you have some, well, different possibilities at the, end, at the corner, right? At the corner. <sighs> Okay, so now uh, tell me, give me one example. Think about one example. Where is the train station? Where is the train station? Train station? What is the train station? Train station. Mm -hmm. The train station is... Ok, so we're going to combine the prepositions. Vamos a combinar las preposiciones. The train station is on. Ok, el nombre de la calle. On. Main Street. Main Street. Ok, Main Street. Ok. How about the hotel? Where is the hotel? The hotel is on oh. Avenue. Second Avenue, on the on, Second Avenue. On the Second Avenue, perfect. Okay, how about, let's see. Uh, okay, let me check if we have some more. Oh, well, we're done. Okay, so try to use any other preposition. We have between, next to, uh, behind. So where is the, where is the police station? Where is the police station? No está la policía. La police the station. police station uh -huh. is behind. Is behind. Behind. The corner C. The corner mm. C. Okay, behind. Let's give it a name. Let's give it a name. Um, behind. Le vamos a dar un nombre. Behind the mall, for example. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Or uh, another possibility could be the police station is between, between, do you remember, between the bank, uh -huh, between the bank and, and the mall. Ahí le vamos a dar un nombre al C. Between is, between, between, es al lado, ¿verdad? Entre, entre. Es entre. Uh -huh, entre. Behind es atrás. Atrás del, del mall, between es en medio de, entre el banco y, hay que mencionar los dos, los dos este, lugares que hay ahí. Ok. Ok, so let's continue. We have some more examples. Let's see, it's 9.30. Ok. May I continue, guys? Do you copy the examples? Yes? Continue. Okay, nice. Okay, so look at this. Here you have some more examples of, of, about it. So what is Mario? What is Mario? Mario is, do you remember group activities? What is Mario? Baker. Group activities? Check the group activities. Mario at a party. At a party. At a party. At a party. Okay. At a party. At a party. Okay. At a party. At a party. Who is uh, the bakers? Eh, eh, ¿Quién está? Eh, eh, uh -huh. Who is at the baker? At school. Okay. At school. Who is at, at school? School. school? Two. Two. Who is at school? ¿Quién está en la escuela? Who is at school? Andy Baker. Who is at Bakery. school? Bakery. Let's give it a name. Susan is at school. Okay. okay. Another question. Who is at the Bakers? Okay. ¿Quién está en la panadería? Who is at the Bakers? So give, me, give me a name. 
Give me a name. Lisa. Lisa. He is at Baker. Uh -huh, at the Baker's. Okay, at Lisa baker. is at the Baker's. Baker. Uh -huh. So you can say Baker's, let's see. Any other place, uh, for example, barbers, okay, barber shop. No, se lo pueden utilizar con diferentes eh, tiendas. Puede ser la barber shop, puede ser la bakery, okay, bakery, or any other, or the drugstore, pueden ser también las farmacias, the drugstore. So we're talking about shops. Estamos hablando de acá de tiendas. Tiendas. Um, okay. Okay. So now let's continue. We're going to open our book. So let me check that. Yes. <clears throat> Give me a second. Okay, can you see the book? Can you see the book? Yeah. Okay, this is page number 39. Nice. Page 39. Nice. Mm -hmm. So you can go and look for that page 39. Okay, página 39. We're going to describe the location of me, uh, my, and others' workplace. Vamos a discutir acá la ubicación de, de su lugar de trabajo. So look at this. Uh, you're going to ask some classmates yeah, where you work and the location of it. Also mention where you work and its location. Entonces vamos a preguntarles a dónde trabajan y también mencionarles a dónde trabajamos nosotros. So look at this, listen and read the following places from the map. So we have several places over here. We have a bank, we have a sport palace. So listen up and repeat that with me. Bank, bank. Bank. Sport palace, sport palace. Sport palace. School. School. A school. School. Mall. 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 Restaurant. 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 Arrows Company. Arrows Company. Company. Book World. Book World. Book World. City Hall. City Hall. City Hall. City Hall. And Church. 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 And the park. 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 Look at this. We have some street and we have some avenues. Barrios Street and Roosevelt the Street. street. Uh -huh. And we, besides that, you have a uh, First Avenue and First Avenue, Second, Second Avenue. Second oh. Avenue. So we're going to use this in order to answer the questions below. Okay, so let me show you the questions. Okay. okay, so look at this. Here we have some questions about this a uh, map. Where is the bank? Where is the bank? Where is the bank? Tell me the bank is. Can you mention the name of the avenue or the street? The bank is on the street. In the M Barrio Street. 
Okay. At the end, at the end, don't forget the preposition at the end of various street. Okay, nice. What is the church? What is the church? The church, the church, the church. Mm -hmm. is on Second Avenue. Okay, on oh. on Second Avenue. Okay. O oh, podría ser o oh, oh, between park a park. Okay, between the park and. Mm. Okay. The church. Mm, si estamos ubicando. Si estamos accesible. Mm -hmm. ¿Cuál era la otra idea? Eh, the church. The church is between park. On between park. No, no está en. Okay, acá, pero tendría que haber algo, otro, otra ubicación, otro lugar. Tendría que estar en medio de ambas, de Ajá, otro. Por ejemplo, podría ser, eh, por ejemplo, Arbos Company, por Palace. Between a school and City Hall. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Podría, podría ser, sí. Ok, sí, so... No, me equivoqué. No, that's ok, no worries. What is the City Hall? What is the City Hall? The City Hall on 2nd Avenue. Uh -huh. It's on... On the on second. second Avenue. Okay, Second Avenue. Okay, so now let's add a little bit, let's add some more information. So the bank, okay, the bank is, okay, on, so this could be another possibility on Barrios Street. Okay, on Barrios Street, so that could be another one. What is the church? The church is, so let's add the name of the, um, okay, the name of the street plus the avenue. The church is on, okay. And the second avenue. You can, say you can add the, the the street, Barrios Street. Okay. So you can add more, more information. No pueden poner el nombre, el, el nombre de la calle y la avenida. Okay. Or vice versa. Okay, so now we go la back. Coma, ¿cómo, cómo, ¿Cómo sé yo o cómo, o sea, cómo asumo de que está entre Barrios Street? ¿La coma me da esa pausa? Eh, no es, vaya acá, veamos, ahí está la iglesia, ok. O puede ser de las dos formas, o, es decir, usted puso The Short in on Second Avenue, coma, Barrios Street. Uh -huh, la calle Barrios, por ejemplo, acá. Uh -huh. Tenemos que ver, ver este mapa. La Church is ah. Second uh -huh. Avenue, Barrios Street. Está en la calle Barrios. O podría empezar así como uh -huh. lo... lo Como hicimos con esta, the church is on Barrios Street. Mm -hmm. and, o podría incluso ser, the, uh, the church is between, the church. Lo que pasa es que ahí lo estamos haciendo más específico, pero podría ser, sí. the is between Barrios Street and Roosevelt. Street. Can I say um, mm -hmm. on the corner of? Uh, repeat it, please. On the corner of uh, Barrios Street and Second Avenue. Mm, yeah, I, yeah, I think it's possible. Just let me check. Um, okay. Hay unas proposiciones que las puedo utilizar también. Okay. So just let's check something. But I think that on can be used with the, the corner. So let me check.
Yeah, you can use, use it on the corner. Mm -hmm. También es posible utilizar on the corner. So that could be possible. Okay, uh, can you repeat your example, Nikki? I don't know. Um, the school is on the corner of various street and second avenue, for example. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's possible. Okay, so let's go back to the book. There's a little bit. And look at this. We have some questions. So which street is the restaurant on? So which street is the restaurant on? Look for the restaurant here. What is the restaurant? So look for that information. Buscamos esa información. What is the restaurant? So which street is the restaurant on? The restaurant is? The restaurant on? Uh -huh, is? On? On? Roosevelt Street. Roosevelt Street, okay. About the city hall. Which street is the city hall on? The city That's hall on. is on? Mm -hmm. City hall? Puede ser Second Avenue o between Church and Book Board. Yeah, could be. But in here, we're asking for um, the avenue or the street. Sí, puede ser. Pero pongámosle acá la... Okay. Ajá, lo que nos está pidiendo. Nos está pidiendo que busquemos una calle o una avenida. The city hall is on. Second Avenue or Roosevelt Street. Second Avenue. You can add Roosevelt Street. Roosevelt Street. Okay, nice. How about which street is the park on? Question number three. Question three. Check question three. Which street is the park on? Alza el parque. So can you check it? Look at this. The park. The park, yo lo, yo lo hice así. The park is on between second and first. Perdón. Second and first avenue. Ok, vaya. Acá, solo es una preposición que vamos a ubicar. Porque puedo utilizar entre Barrio Street y Roosevelt Street. Entre, uh, between. The park is between um, First Avenue, Barrio Street, and Second Avenue, uh, Roosevelt Street. But in here, uh, vamos a utilizar una calle. Nada más que depende de dónde, de dónde lo ve, de, de qué punto lo veamos. Por ejemplo, si la entrada estuviese acá, este va a ser el, el, lo que yo voy a mencionar. Ok, the park is on Second Avenue, Barrio Street. Si la, por ejemplo, por decir algo, si la entrada estuviera de acá, de este lado. O, o depende de, de, de qué lado lo vea. Entonces ahí tendría que ser de la donde está la entrada. No está la entrada. So just give me one idea. So dame una idea. So which street is the park on? The park is on. Second Avenue, example, Second Avenue. Second Avenue could be. Incluso podría ser Second Avenue. Si necesitamos especificar un poquito más, podemos mencionar ahí en la calle. Second Avenue. Uh, ok, uh, Second Avenue. It is. Podemos agregar más información. It is between. Between. Ok. The barrio, okay, between Barrios Street. And Roosevelt, Roosevelt Street, okay. Okay, so you, you can copy that. Very. Okay, nice. So now look at this. We're gonna check a listening 
over here. So we're going to we're going to listen to people saying where it, some places are located on the map, and then we are going to complete the exercises. Okay, so look at this. Okay, so the title is "Where's the Movie Theater?" Where's the movie theater? Okay, before doing that, we're gonna check. Okay, look at this. The vocabulary. Okay. Okay, we don't have vocabulary. Okay, so look at this. So we have the pre-listening exercise. Although watching movies online from the comfort of one's homes is becoming very popular, many people still enjoy the pleasure of buying movie tickets and watching a movie at a local theater. Question one, what is the attraction that draws people to the, to the movies? Okay, so what do you think about this? ¿Qué es lo que atrae a la gente? So just to go and watch these kind of movies. Uh, well, they, uh, we're going to the movies. So what attracts people? Mm -hmm. yeah. ¿Qué atrae a la gente para que vaya a ver películas al cine? So what do you think? The popcorn. <laughs> popcorn, okay. <laughs> yeah, popcorn. Mm -hmm. What else? Talking with someone, right, about the movie. The principal actors. Okay. The, okay, the characters, the actors, the actress. Uh-huh. Okay. And besides that, I think that you can talk with somebody, right, about the movie. También puede hablar con alguien de la película, right? That's not the, as being at home and just watching it alone, right? Question the number. Uh-huh, Sara? The promotion. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no sé. They, probably there is an offer. Uh-huh. I don't know. Or, uh, yeah, something that they offer. Question number two. How much do movie tickets cost in your area? ¿Cuánto cuestan los tickets? How much? Entre tres dólares a cuatro dólares. Okay. Between... Three and four dollars between three uh -huh, and four dollars. Okay, so we need to go and watch a movie. So, what do people like to do before or after seeing a movie? ¿Qué le gusta a la gente hacer antes o después de ver una película? Go to the food court. <laughs> so, what do people like to do? Tell me. Diner. Uh -huh. Have dinner. Dinner. Okay. To have dinner. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, before okay, before seeing a movie, you hide food, esconder comida, okay, so you can access with some food. <laughs> and yeah, I, I have noticed that it's really expensive, right? Es bastante caro, right? It's really expensive to get something uh, at a movie theater, right? So now look at this. Uh, we have listened to the recording and answered the questions. So the question is, when is Steve going out with Jennifer? When? So we have Friday, Sunday, and Saturday. So I'm going to send you the link. Le voy a enviar el enlace para que ustedes lo, lo hagan también. And then you send me the results. Okay. Where is the movie theater? Where is the restaurant located? What time does the restaurant close on Sundays? What time? What is the florist? And that's all, okay? So let's start. So listen, listen. Hey, Renee, do you happen to know where the movie theater is downtown? 
The one near the hospital. Yeah, why do you want to know? Well, on Monday, I asked Jennifer out on a date for this coming Saturday night. Wow, you've really been seeing a lot of her lately. Sounds great. Okay, write down these directions so you don't get lost. Okay, go ahead. First, drive down First Street going west. Cross the river and keep going straight until Pine Street. Until Pine Street, right? Right. Then turn left. And the movie theater is the second building on the right. It's next to the church. Second building on the right. Got it. Now, can you recommend any nice restaurants? Yeah, the Pink Flamingo serves excellent Spanish food. Well, where's that? Well, starting from the movie theater, go south on Pine Street, cross Second Street, and drive to Third Street. You'll see a parking lot on the left side of the street. Okay, so far? A parking lot on the left. Okay. Then what? Okay. Then turn left on Third Street and drive east. The Pink Flamingo is the building just before the river on the left side. I think it's open weekdays from 10:30. In the morning to 11:30 at night, but it stays open until midnight on weekends. Okay, I think I've driven by there before. Oh, last thing, where can I buy some flowers? We're going to out to celebrate Jennifer's birthday. Well, the only florist I know is in front of the stadium on Second Street. Try that one. Great, thanks a lot. Do you want to listen that again? <clears throat> again, please. Okay. Hey Renee, do you happen to know where the movie theater is downtown? The one near the hospital. Yeah, why do you want to know? Well, on Monday, I asked Jennifer out on a date for this coming Saturday night. Wow, you've really been seeing a lot of her lately. Sounds great. Okay, write down these directions so you don't get lost. Okay, go ahead. First, drive down First Street going west, cross the river, and keep going straight until Pine Street. Until Pine Street, right? Right. Then turn left. And the movie theater is the second building on the right. It's next to the church. Second building on the right. Got it. Now, can you recommend any nice restaurants? Yeah, the Pink Flamingo serves excellent Spanish food. Well, where's that? Well, starting from the movie theater, go south on Pine Street, cross Second Street, and drive to Third Street. You'll see a parking lot on the left side of the street. Okay, so far? A parking lot on the left. Okay. Then what? Okay. Then turn left on Third Street and drive east. The Pink Flamingo is the building just before the river on the left side. I think it's open weekdays from 10:30 in the morning to 11:30 at night, but it stays open until midnight on weekends. Okay, I think I've driven by there before. Oh, last thing, where can I buy some flowers? We're going to out to celebrate Jennifer's birthday. Well, the only florist I know is in front of the stadium on Second Street. Try that one. Great, thanks a lot. Okay, so let's see. Do you want to listen to that again? So let's identify something. So probably this helps you. So look at this. We have First Street. First, this is First Street. He mentioned First Street. We have uh, several shops. Uh, they are, uh, for example, hotel, church, bus office, pharmacy, a cafe, a parking lot, high school. A bus terminal, terminal, a stadium, a sports club, a park, a mall, a museum, a supermarket, and a computer shop. We have a river. We also have a song numbers from 1 to 14. So probably this can help you. We have Great Street and we have Pine Street. We have the second street, the second street, first street, and second street. This is a uh, third street. And we have the sun street, sun street, okay? Sun street, pine street, gray street, and uh, this is star street, and first street. So we start over here. De acá empezamos. De acá empieza, eh, empiezan a discutir ellos a dónde a dónde lo va a llevar, okay? So let's listen that again. Let's listen that again. So remember this information. You start from here until uh, over here. Okay, so let's do it again. Hey, Renee, do you happen to know where the movie theater is downtown? The one near the hospital. Yeah, why do you want to know? Well, on Monday, I asked Jennifer out on a date for this coming Saturday night. Wow, you've really been seeing a lot of her lately. Sounds great. Okay, write down these directions so you don't get lost. Okay, go ahead. First, drive down First Street going west, cross the river, and keep going straight until Pine Street. Until Pine Street, right? Right. Then turn left, and the movie theater is the second building on the right. It's next to the church. Second building on the right. Got it. 
Now, can you recommend any nice restaurants? Yeah, the Pink Flamingo serves excellent Spanish food. Well, where's that? Well, starting from the movie theater, go south on Pine Street, cross 2nd Street, and drive to 3rd Street. You'll see a parking lot on the left side of the street. Okay so far? A parking lot on the left. Okay. Then what? Okay. Then turn left on 3rd Street and drive east. The Pink Flamingo is the building just before the river on the left side. I think it's open weekdays from 10.30 in the morning to 11.30 at night, but it stays open until midnight on weekends. Okay. I think I've driven by there before. Oh, last thing. Where can I buy some flowers? We're going to out to celebrate Jennifer's birthday. Well, the only florist I know is in front of the stadium on 2nd Street. Try that one. Great. Thanks a lot. Okay. <clears throat> so I think it was a little bit clearer now. So look at this. When is Steve going out with Jennifer? ¿Cuándo van a salir? Friday, Sunday, or Saturday? Friday. Saturday. Saturday or Friday? Friday. Friday. Cool. Which one? Uh -huh. I need any Friday. other opinion. Uh -huh. One more opinion. Friday or Saturday? Marvin? Friday. Sa Saturday. Saturday. Mm -hmm. Marvin, what do you have, Marvin? Douglas? Uh, Saturday. 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 Okay, so let's check it. It was Saturday. Okay, so look at this. Well, on Monday, I asked jennifer out on a day for this coming saturday night okay so where is the movie theater what is the movie theater so you have to select a number okay you have two twelve one or four what is the movie theater movie theater let's go back to the map movie theater so you have option two option 12 and let's see one and four okay two twelve one and four so which one? Where is the movie theater? Number? Four. Four. You sure? Yeah, you sure? Number four? No. Number four. Any other opinion? Eduardo, what do you think, Eduardo? Hola. Number one, twelve, two or four? Twelve. Twelve. Okay, what's that? Twelve. Okay, let the map the head of what? So let's see. No. Look at this, it's actually twelve. Okay, okay, Cindy. Uh, Rene, right, then turn left, and the movie theater is the second building on the right. It's next to the church. Okay, so you move from here, you went, well, they went, they go straight ahead over here on Pine Street next to the church, he said. Okay, she said, right, actually. Okay, what is the restaurant located? ¿Dónde está el restaurante? 14, building 14, 11, 8, or 6. ¿Dónde está el restaurante? Look at this. 14, 11, 8, or 6. Restaurant? What is the restaurant? Eleven. 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 Uh -huh. Eleven. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was eleven. Yes. Okay. So look at this from the from the movie theater. He went uh, down Pine Street and then he turned. Okay, he made a okay a left. Then he turned again. He made a right. Okay, so he went to a uh, the restaurant. Okay. How about uh, what time does the restaurant close on Sundays? Do you have this information? 12 o'clock. 12? 12. 12. 12. 12 a.m. A.m. Okay, you sure? Nikki, uh, Carlos, Douglas, Marvin? I'm not sure. 
Eleven, okay, so I don't know. Eleven, bien. Eleven. Okay, so let's see. No, it was actually 12. No, 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 me. <laughs> okay, I think it's open weekdays from 10.30 in the morning. Okay, the thing is that they all said uh, 11 in the morning to 11.30 at night, but it stays open until midnight on the weekends. Midnight. Acá estaba la respuesta. Midnight. Until midnight. Hasta la medianoche. No. Okay, no. where is the florist? Sí. Esa no la respondí. Okay. Uh, sí. Look at this. Well, the only floor is I know is in front of the stadium on Second Street. Okay. In, floor of the, in front of the stadium, Second Street. Okay. Second Street, First Street, Second Street. So it was. It's 10. 10. 10. Mm, okay. 10, 10. Yeah, 10. That was that. Okay, so we're gonna uh, finish. So just let me pass the attendance list and say present, please. So now you can work on activity number 16. Ya pueden trabajar en la tarea número 16, chicos. Okay. ¿Cómo vamos con esa plataforma? Ya está lista toda. Recuerden que terminamos el viernes. Okay. Cuatro días. Okay, Carlos Enrique Guerrero Hernández. Present. Thank you. Cindy Lisbeth Méndez. Como oh, para enviar. Ah, tuve cuatro de cinco. Bueno. Cindy Lisbeth Méndez. Present. Thank you. Daniela Beatriz Gómez. Douglas Alfonso Alvarenga. Present. Thank you. Elsie Yanira Camiles. Present. Thank you, Elsie. Fátima de Jesús Gómez. Present. Thank you, Flora Yaritza Guzmán. Francisco Antonio Acuña Ramírez. Present. Thank you. Gabriela Michela Maya Guzmán. Present. Thank you, Gabriela. Ileana Guadalupe Jerónimo Morales. Present. Thank you, Ileana. Juan Eduardo Flores Aguilar. Present. Thank you, Marvin Alexander Pérez. Present. Thank you, Nikki Daniela Costa. Present. Thank you, Nikki. Oscar Daniel Castillo. Present. Thank you, Oscar. Ramiro Denis Linares. Present. Thank you, Denis. Sara Gisela Peña. Present. Thank you, Sara. Sarita Elizabeth Hueso. Present. Thank you, Sarita. And Yolanda Gabriela Afana Hernández. Present. Okay, so that's all for today, guys. Um, let's see. If you have any question, you can stay. Tienen preguntas, chicos, se pueden quedar y discutir, okay? So that's all for today. I'll see you next class at 8 o'clock, okay? So have a good night, guys. See you Bye. tomorrow. Good Goodbye. Night. Bye. Good night. Bye. 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 Mm-hmm. <clears throat>